Hello everyone, my name is Daniel and I'm a programmer and an artist. This video is about how you can use the instance on faces modifier for my geometry node assets. To use instance on faces, we will need two things, a collection of objects to instance and some faces to instance them on. For an object to instance, I will add a plane and model a simple window. The Z axis of the object will match the normal of the face that the object is instanced on. So model the window line flat on the ground. If you'd prefer it to be upright, you can rotate it by 90 degrees on the X axis. Just make sure that you're in object mode when you rotate it. I will go ahead and name the window window, and then I'll move it into a new collection and I'll name that collection instances. Then, for a face to instance on, I will add another plane, um, but we will also be using the wall with the faces that we projected in the face project video. On the other plane, we will add an instance on faces modifier, either from the modifier menu or by dropping it in from the asset browser. It will complain about an empty output. To resolve that, we just need to select the instances collection. Instance on is the tag feature. I'll cover that in a bit. Calculate centers will offset the instances so that they are centered on the face. Um, when it is off, if I move the origin on this window, the instance also moves away from its face. When Calculate Centers is on, moving the window's origin doesn't have an effect on the instances they stay on the face. Approximate Z Scale will calculate the depth of the instances from the average of their width and height scales. If that is off, the OR Z Scale value is used instead, keeping the Z Scale at a constant value. Uniform Scale will force the width and height to be scaled by the same amount. This means that the final dimensions of the window may differ from the dimensions of the face, but the model won't be stretched. By changing the scale basis, you can choose whether the width or the height gets priority when deciding um, what value to use for the uniform scaling. To demonstrate the next setting, I'll make a copy of the window and alter it slightly, and I'll also rename it to be barred window. Because random IDs is checked, each face is randomly assigned a different instance. If you uncheck random, the modifier will instead use the material index of that face. Um, so by adding two different material slots and assigning them in edit mode, you can pick which window is placed on which face. However, if you have a dozen different windows or whatever it is that you're instancing, this can be rather tedious. So I made an operator that can do it for you. When you download my geometry node assets, there's an additional file for the DGH utils add-on. If you download that zip file, open your blender preferences, go to add-ons and install the dghutils.zip file, you will have access to an operator to automate the creation of those material slots. To create them, select the instance on faces object and use the create materials for instances operator. You can find that under the mesh DJH utils menu, or you can search for it in the search menu. With older versions of the add-on, it would prompt you to type in the name of the collection you wanted to create materials for. I just updated the add-on so that it now instead prompts you to select the collection from a drop-down menu. After selecting the collection, if we return to the materials tab, you will see that it has created a material for each object in the collection. By assigning those materials to each face, we can still control which object instance on which face, but now the materials have names and they were automatically created for us. Finally, let's cover how the instance on faces modifier can be used with tags. I will select the faces that I made for the face project video and run create materials for instances on it. Then just for good measure, let's assign the barred window material to a few faces. The index materials have a wireframe effect, which makes it possible to see through them while also showing which color is assigned to which face. I will now select the walls object and add an instance on faces modifier to it. First, let's check the append box so that the walls are not replaced by the modifier result. This is making use of the tag feature. For a full explanation of how tags work, watch the build walls video. Next, I will select the collection that I want to instance. Because the base mesh was replaced by the build walls modifier, nothing happens. I want to instance on the result of the face project modifier, so I will select that from the instance on dropdown. Then I will change a few settings, turn center on, approximate off, uniform on, random off, which gets us this result where we have windows on the wall. We can assign them different materials to pick different instances. We can easily move the windows around on the wall and they're always snapped to the wall by the face project modifier. Then the result is being tagged as instance on faces, which is fine for us, but you can also select a custom tag if you're using more than one instance on faces modifier. And that's about it for the instance on faces modifier. Um, while I keep showing the stores and windows example, don't forget to think outside the box. You can snap anything to the wall. You know, how about a light switch or outlets? And it doesn't even have to be a wall. You could snap greebles onto a mech or whatever you want to do. But carrying on with our example, um, it would be nice to cut holes so that we can see through those windows. So in the next video, I'll talk about the build cut holes modifier. 
In the description, there are a bunch of links. You can visit my website where there are more details about all of my modifiers. I have a Discord server that you're welcome to join, and there are links to where you can purchase my Geometry Node assets if you would like to do that. Anyway, that's all I've got for this one. Thanks for watching.